Okay, well it took me about three hours to get my act together to do a video, but I am bound and determined, like I always say, to give you guys a video. Today's video is a whole video, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I actually have, I think, the last few items from the thrift store before they close. I have a few donations, and I have some odd pieces that I've had around I bought for my personal use, and I want to show you those. So please hit the like and subscribe, and let's get started. Boy, is it cloudy here today. I think you can see behind me how the lighting is really dim today. I'm going to try to bring some of this lighting around. Let's see if we can brighten up this space. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. Let's put this one to the side. How's that? Is that better? I think it's still gray. But let's get started with what I picked up and I'll tell you why I picked these things up and what I paid. So the first item is a Calvin Klein dress. Don't mind the barbs, I haven't taken them off yet. Now I don't pick up a lot of Calvin Klein. I don't find that Calvin Klein sells well and I'm not sure why that is. I think the styles are nice. A lot of their styles are classic but they just don't move in my store. But I felt this dress was good because it is a sheath dress. I like a good sheath dress for career wear and it has a beautiful reptile print. If you guys can see that, I'll hold it up. So it's black, whoops, knocked on my chandelier. And I paid, uh, I believe, was it 575? I believe I paid $6 for this dress. The next item up is this jean jacket. I don't even know what any of that means. What does this say? Wicked Princess. So I'm not quite sure who that is, if it is somebody famous. And it's by H&M. But I thought this was great. I really liked this logo on the back. And I have not run comps because at that point in the thrift store, I was just throwing things in my cart, anything that looked halfway decent because I knew they were gonna shut down for several weeks. So this is the last time that I had gone to the thrift store. I think it was Monday before they closed and I just threw everything in the cart. So um, what did I pay for this? I paid $7.50 for this jacket, but I felt like it was worth it even though I didn't run a comp to have inventory to list. The next up is Old Navy. Now Old Navy, in my opinion, does well for certain pieces. I do quite well with Old Navy. So leave a comment down below if you guys totally avoid Old Navy clothing for resale, or if you're finding, like what I'm finding, certain, certain styles will bring the money. So I took a chance on this one, and if it doesn't do well, I can keep it. It is a linen safari jacket with a drawstring waist. New with tags, no, what was this originally? $54.99, but we know Old Navy runs sales, but I thought this was really nice. So I said yes to that, and I believe I paid, okay, what did I pay for that? I wanna say $7 or $7.25. The next item is just a Lane Bryant, size 20. This is a, a gauze peasant blouse with a beautiful cut lace work. Look how pretty that is in a beautiful color. What color would I call this? Um, it's not mango. We'll just call it pink for now because I can't think of what color. Very pretty. And I paid $4.25 for that. This next blouse, I looked at the tag and I said, that's either a good tag or a nothing tag. I think it's a nothing tag. This is Sheen, S-H-E-I-N and I don't know who makes that. There is the tag. I have to look this up, but this is something that I took a chance on because I did not have time to run comps. I was literally running up and down the aisles just grabbing things. But um, beautiful blouse, a real cranberry color, great for career, and I paid $4.25. The next item up is Earth Yoga, and here is the label for that. This is just printed right in the in the top and this is an ombre tunic hoodie and this is great you can use keywords like beachy or um, hippie um, ombre o-m-b-r-e i'm sure we all know that term really nice really pretty uh, again i paid for 25. this next blouse caught my attention i almost want to keep this this is uh, a vintage polka dot ruffle neck blouse 
Now it's a little more crop than I like my tops to be. I like my tops to be like hit at the, at the hip bone and I think this might fall a little shorter. But look what fun this is. This would be super cute. You know, if you work in an office and you have a dark blue blazer and you let the ruffle peek out, really cute. So I said yes to this. It does have a mark on the ruffle, a stain, but I'm convinced I can get that out. And let's see what it's made out of. Up. So here is the Union label tag that tells you it's vintage. And what else? I think it's polyester. We'll just say it's polyester. I'm not quite sure. I don't even see a brand, a brand in there, but um, yeah, so I picked that up. All right. The next item that I found is a petite medium, or I'd be keeping this, Lauren Ralph Lauren, and it is a leopard cheetah sweater. I might actually try this on before I give this away. Not give it away, before I, before I put it into my inventory. I really like a good cheetah print. Leopard, really pretty. And uh, I never realized how much I say really pretty, so I will try to think of something else to say. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And this is Silk 85 Silk 15% Nylon. No, 10% Nylon, 2% Lycra. Okay, so that doesn't add up right. What am I missing here? 85, oh, 13 Nylon. Okay, so we have 85 Silk, 13 Nylon, and 2 Lycra. There's the correct math. Yeah, it's a really pretty cardigan sweater. And there's the really pretty again. All right, these are Old Navy, size six, and they are a cropped pant. And I picked these up because they were new with tag. And what did I pay for these? I believe I paid $4.25. I don't expect to get a lot from these, and I think these I might have to sit on for a while. But again, I wanted inventory, so I said yes to them. And sometimes, guys, when we're in a slowdown like this, whether it's my summer months on eBay or it's for something that happened, like when the seller update fiasco happened or now here with you know everybody staying home and people holding on to their money, I will list items that I know the profit capability is not high, but I am just trying to be consistent getting listings on every day and get things to sell through. Even if I only make a couple of dollars at that point, that's good business sense to me. You want to get your store pumping because the more you sell, the higher in rank eBay's going to show you. If you have a store that is not selling you know, frequently, you get pushed further down in the search. But if eBay sees that your store is cha-ching, cha-ching, they're going to move you up because at the end of the day, they want to make sales. That's what eBay's about. They're all about making money. So sometimes I pad my store with lower priced items to make the sale to get my store to move up higher in search rank. Hope all of that makes sense. All right, the next pair of, we'll call them jeans, are a brown pair of men's. I believe these are men's. They're called the Rocky. They're put out by Hudson. We all know Hudson. And I'm not quite sure how these will do. I don't think I've ever sold Hudson men's jeans. I've sold quite a few of the women's. Let me just see if there's any other. Oh, they're a button fly. Button fly is great. That's, that's a help. I sell more button flies than anything else. Size 32. And you know, I'm hoping these are men's. Does it even say Byron Five Pockets Straight? They look like they're guys, but um, yeah, pretty sure they're men's. So what did I pay for those? Again, $4.25. The next dress, I don't know if I've ever sold before, and this is She and Sky. I have heard of it. I don't expect this is a very high-end dress. It is a halter style with spaghetti straps, kind of like cut in, you know, on the sleeves here a little bit. I'll have to look up what that style is called. I think there's a name to that style besides halter, and it's a reptile print. Really cute. So I said yes to that. Dresses in that store, I'm paying $6.25. Here again is H&M. Old Navy and H&M to me are about the same level for selling. I don't know if that's true. I could have just made that up, but that's how I look at it. This dress is beautiful. Look at the print on this. 
Let's see if I can go back. It's a maxi dress with a ruffle peplum sleeve. It's like a sleeveless underneath, and then it's got the ruffle peplum over it. Really pretty print. And what did I pay for this? Again, $6.25. Next up is a linen dress, and this is Moda International. It has the ruffle top, and it's a bandeau. So this is great for the beach, and it's a maxi dress. Great for the summer, really comfortable. Um, in my opinion, these are very complimentary. And the bust part of it has smocking. So smocking is where it is sewn with great elasticity. So that helps you hold it up that this is on the bust. And the last item in the haul today is Denim & Company. This is a woman's size uh, 1X, and it is a denim jacket with a suede, this is real suede, on the elbows and on the placket back here. I forget what this is called. Placket, yoke, I'll call it on the yoke. Suede on the yoke and on the front. Very Western in style. I figured this would do quite well. And I paid $7.50 for this. So the next thing that I wanted to show and talk about are things that I pick up for my own personal use when I do go to thrift stores. Now right now our thrift stores in Pennsylvania are all closed down, but these are things that I've been wanting to talk about and I figured today would be a great day. So number one item, I'm gonna lift up three bags actually. Here's one, two, and three. I actually found this as one huge lot, and I paid $4 for the lot. Yep, $4 for all of this. And I'm gonna go through a few things to show you what items I pick up for my own personal use from the thrift stores. Now, let me just say, the only rule that I really have for myself is the item has to be new and it has to be fresh. It can't be outdated for years and years. I won't use products, especially makeup products that are very outdated. But if I find items that were donated, especially I believe this lot was donated by a retail store, whether it be a cosmetic store, Sephora, things like that, sometimes they dump their trial sizes at the thrift store. Yep, and when I can find those, thrilling. Now let me also say any items that I don't use, that I don't open, I will probably make lots of makeup for eBay. And again, it all has to be fresh and it has to be completely sealed. It cannot be even with the seal broken. The first thing I want to show you are these Laura Geller Beauty Ingenuity. This is an eye palette. So I got that one brand new. Hope you can see that with the, with the lighting. Um, this one is a blush coffee berry. So that was great there. Another Laura Geller. And this one is Balance and Brighten Foundation Fair. I also got this compact and totally unused, brand new. And there it is there with a mirror. Another uh, palette that I found, this is Lancome and their eyeshadows. I actually found four of these and I started using one. They're okay, not my favorite colors. I happen to like, is it Tarte? I think I use Tarte eyeshadows. And this one is Ombre Absolue. I think this is Lancome with that rose, is that correct? All oh, brand new. Um, Jose Moran, is that how we say that, Marin? And it is a compact. This looks like it's all sealed still, let's see. Okay, so this one is still sealed. It's got the seal on top that hasn't been broken. Argan Sunkissed Bronzer. I'll probably keep that for myself. Here we have lipsticks. Now today I have a lipstick on that I've had for a while. I normally don't wear lipsticks. My lips get very dry. Normally I use lip gloss and I use Buxom. So this is the one I personally use. Unfortunately, I did not find this. This is Buxom White Russian. That's my favorite. It's a lip plumper because I have very small lips. I found an OPI nail and I'll probably use that for myself. I'd like to give myself a manicure and a pedicure. Um, a lip gloss, again, Lancome. Quite a few mascaras, again, Lancome, in black. So we just have travel mascaras. We have a Juicy, Juicy Tube by Lancome. I think that's a, a lip gloss. 
This one is a mascara. So we did get some Chanel mascaras and Lancome mascaras. And the last item in this bag is a Laura Geller Baked Highlighter French Vanilla. So there's that. The second bag are all hand creams, little soaps, uh, body cream, um, rose water, I guess that's like a base spray. What else, what else? One of the main brands that I love to find is Sicily. Recently, my daughter Melissa, Fresh Bloom and Clothing, and Melissa with two L's and two S's on YouTube, gifted me with a Sicily of Paris uh, subscription makeup kit, I'm gonna call it. Uh, it wasn't really makeup, it was um, face care. And I loved that, but unfortunately, Sicily has discontinued that line. So we're hoping they do another subscription. I absolutely love Sicily. They're probably my number one brand for skincare. But let me just say, it's very high priced and I can't afford it for myself. Melissa gave me the subscription trial and that was wonderful. I think that was about $10 a month and that was great. They just gave you little pots of things to try. So I really love Sicily. Here's Lancome Absolute. These are all gonna be creams. Again, all brand new, all sealed. Uh, Chanel, so it's a Chanel body cream, I believe. Emulsion Pour de la Corp. Uh, that's for the body, right? For the, yeah, for the body. Uh, Fresh, I don't know the brand Fresh, but there's quite a few products in these bags. So it's a body lotion, and that's what that looks like. And so this just goes on and on, and I got little Neiman Marcus soap, so wrapped still. That's what the back looks like. Yeah, so very fun. That was bag number two. And bag number three, most of these are either um, the Chanel mascaras or perfume. I'll take out a few so we can see. The first bunch of samples are Kiehl's. Is that how we say that? Lots of cream, shampoos. I like this brand, K-I-E-H-L-S. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but a lot of these were in there. Uh, Chanel number five, a sample. Uh, makeup brushes. This one I took out, this was sealed also. I love a good makeup brush. Uh, Chanel, this is the mascara, Those, that's what that, and I'm wearing the mascara today, can you tell? <laughs> Most of the times the mascara I buy is the old school Maybelline pink and green too. Yep, I'm still, I like that formula because it's very smooth on the lashes. It doesn't clump. And a lot of times the mascaras, even if you pay a lot of money, they have like fibers built into them. Not my favorite. Okay, moving on. Uh, correction. Oh, Chanel Eye Correction. I hope that's for under eye circles. That's my biggest, my biggest complaint in life. Uh, precision Tinted Moisture Boost. Again, by Chanel. Okay, so we could just go on and on with this. Lots of makeup brushes, lots of face creams, and perfumes. I haven't comped any of these because I was picking up the whole bag for myself, but like I said, I'm probably gonna do either mystery lots of trial sizes. I've never done mystery lots before, and I'll sell them really reasonably priced, but I thought that would be a fun thing. Here I wanted to share a few things that have been selling from my store recently. Even though I'm experiencing a little bit of a slower selling period, all kinds of items are still selling. So I am trying my very best to keep listing every day. You guys know I'm all about listing to make my store really active. And let's get started. This is a jersey. I picked up two of these, one in black, one in white, and this is Reading Royals. This is a town near me, 53.55. Here's just a mixed lot of Oneida flatware, $21. Now some of these items I have sent offers, which I don't send offers a lot because I run promotions continually in my store. I don't usually send offers to watchers, believe it or not, unless I'm really trying to increase my sales. So that's how this sold for $21. Here are four little cute casserole pottery pots, $26.95. This bowl sold very quickly. This bowl is beautiful in real life, $22. It's by Portobello by Inspire. 
Here are coasters I showed in a haul video a couple of months back. I did send an offer for $20 because these are easy to ship. Really beautiful and I was happy with that sale. Here's a vest, Jose Bank $26.75. It's a men's wool vest. Here a very large pair of shoes, size 15, beautiful quality, $25. This is a petticoat beach dress, I called it, 3205. It is by the brand Together. Here's a necklace I bought for myself. I bought this full retail. Uh, it was probably on sale. <laughs> I very rarely pay full retail for anything I buy. And I wore it a few times, probably two times, maybe three, in a video. 1508, I was done using it. This is a beautiful bowl. I love bowls like this. The trim work had a beautiful vine or leaf design, and 32.22 is what it brought. This Harley Davidson woman's koi fish top. I love this print, and I displayed it with the sleeves across the front because it was so pretty. 46.56. So that's just a little snapshot of what I'm selling. I will probably continue to show you guys what's selling over on my Instagram as usual. And if I sell any high profit items, I will continue to do crazy high profit thrift finds episodes. Hope everybody is doing well. Go out and get what's yours.